welcome back to my channel my name is mel and today i'm going to be sharing my new year's resolution for 2021 i can't believe it's coming up to 2021 in a matter of days actually 2020 has been a rough year for everyone to be honest i don't know much about it but let's keep it that way as well so for the new year's resolution for 2021 i normally do this every year and something normally pops up that's different each year i have just written these down on my bucket list so i think we should get straight into it and i'm gonna go down from 10 to 1 because normally when i do my new year's resolutions i do one two three so i thought let's change it up a bit let's go backwards and let's just have fun i hope next year is going to be 10 times as fun as this year because this year has been such a weird time of life in the words of youngblood dominic harrison it's a weird time of life so let's jump straight into it at number 10 i want to be able to say no without feeling bad or guilty about it because when someone is asking me if i want to do something and i don't feel comfortable with doing that myself i tend to go with it and i do things i don't feel comfortable with just to please the other person just to make someone else happy so next year my new year's resolution is going to be learn to say no and don't feel bad about it you shouldn't feel bad about the choices you make because those choices can have a huge impact on your life and I have learned that this year because so many people have told me oh you shouldn't be traveling you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be doing that and I was like okay I, I get what you mean with all this COVID going on I get that but when I'm staying at home and I'm alone in my bedroom that's when my mental health gets bad and when I'm with someone in a support bubble, which is allowed, that's when I'm okay. That's when I'm on the road to recovery. That's why I went to London. And it's just one of them things that you have to put yourself first for once. And I think I have done that this year, hopefully. Jumping in at number nine, I want to appreciate life more because this year has put so many limits on our lives because we are limited to who we can see, what we can do, where we can go. To appreciate life more, I think I'm going to appreciate what's more around me. I've got nature around me. I've got a town around me. Um, I don't have many friends where I live, but uh, that's what the social media is for. I can call FaceTime them anytime I want. It's just keeping it up and appreciating what you have in your life because a person my age on the other side of the world could have nothing. And I'm sitting here complaining about what the weather is. You need to appreciate life more because you never know when it can just end like that. At number eight, I want to stop the negative thoughts in my head. I want to stop negative talk that is going on inside my head constantly 24 seven, seven days a week. So when I'm doing something good, I always have this voice in the back of my head saying, oh, you're not good enough to do this. You're not good enough to do that. I want that to stop. I don't need it anymore. And everyone goes through this. Everyone has negative talk. And sometimes it can bring your whole life down. It can bring your whole day down, ruin your day. Like today, I was supposed to go out to uh, get my passport photo sorted and every little thing that was trying to stop me from going it just everything just kept on going wrong but I fought for it I fought for it <laughs> so just to stop the negative thoughts just to sit back and think right I am not gonna let this voice inside my head whatever it is take control of my life because this is my life and I want to flip and enjoy it. <laughs> At number seven, I want to accept myself because it is very hard for someone to accept themselves for who they are. And I believe 2021 will be the year where I can finally 
just accept myself for who I am, what I am and what I like because if I keep on beating myself up 24 7 every year I'm not gonna make it anywhere in life I'm not gonna be happy I'm not gonna be like exploring anywhere if I keep on beating myself up and doing this to my body I will be in that hospital and you know it's one of them you just gotta think everyone else is going through this with you you are not alone and you have friends that are there to support you even if they're miles away even if they're a thousand miles away they are still there to support you if it wasn't for my friends from germany sweden london uh, durham everywhere i wouldn't be here today because of them i wouldn't be here because they have given me a reason to live they have given me a reason to breathe and to keep on fighting they have given me a reason to keep on fighting and i couldn't be more thankful for that so to accept myself more would be an absolute dream just to accept myself as I am, what my body is like. I may not be the perfect size, I may not be the perfect, look the perfect way, but all my teenage years, I've been trying to make myself something I'm not. And I think it's about time that I stop doing that and accept it for what I am. Jumping in at number six, I want to be able to enjoy food again. As you guys know, uh, if you have been watching me for a while, I do have uh, an eating disorder, bulimia nervosa, and I've had that for several years now. And it's very hard for me to enjoy food when going out, say for a meal, or even just sitting here in my room. I t Food is like an enemy to me. And I want to make 2021 the year where I can sit down and finally eat a meal without feeling guilty, without feeling ugly, without having negative thoughts inside my head. So that's when number eight comes in, when I said about stopping the negative thoughts. I believe if I stop the negative thoughts, it will then have an impact on my eating as well. So fingers crossed 2021 is a good year i really hope so jumping in at number five i want to go and explore london fully because we have done all the touristy things we've done all london eye we've done big ben we've done everywhere but we have not done the secret locations and i have got a book full of secret locations where me and my friends are going to go and explore, hopefully next year, if this COVID thing clears up. Yeah, so to explore London f fully, find out all the secrets of London, discover the unknown and just have fun whilst doing it. And obviously I'll be doing the filming when I'm doing that as well. So at number four, I really want to go fully vegan. I said this last year, I, I think I did anyway. but. To go fully vegan, I believe that would help me with my eating as well because that becoming vegan is becoming healthy. But people just think, oh, becoming vegan is eating vegetables, eating this and that. There are alternatives to becoming vegan. There are alternatives to chocolate, alternatives to crisps, alternatives to meat. Like I've just been to the uh, supermarket, I've just been to the store to get loads of corn stuff and i absolutely adore that stuff but then that ties in with my eating habits etc at number three i want to go and travel the world with my friends my friends being billy and lee because over the past i think it's like three years um i've been having seizures and that has limited me to what I can do, who I can be with, and it's 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 pretty shit. <laughs> I'll tell you now, it's pretty shit to see your friends 
going out enjoying themselves i was like i'm so happy for them that they got out and they were exploring the world like they wanted to but to know that i could have been there was very hard for me but i'm still happy for them i'm not going to be one of them people to say oh you're not allowed to go without me i'm not that kind of person you you do what the hell you want you go with whoever you want and if it makes you happy it makes you happy but i hope next year me billy and lee get to explore the world together and just live our lives because you never know when it can end and just seeing lee and billy explore rome everywhere like that it's so magical and i hope to be there next year hopefully at number two this one uh i recently added to my new year's resolutions list so i want to meet young blood next year i want to make it my goal to meet young blood to tell him how much he's changed my life how much he's made me realize how important family is how important friends are how important you are because he's just one of a kind he talks about mental health he sings about mental health and he's so passionate about it and i have never related to someone more than him like obviously i've got the twins as well but with dom it's a new kind of I'm, every time I hear him, I'm, I'm happy. Every time he sings and he explains what his music is about, it's beautiful. And it's brought me, Billy and Lee, closer together because he's made us realize that we shouldn't take things for granted anymore. And our friendship is very, very important. So if Dom is watching this, which I doubt he is, but Dom, if you are watching this, thank you for bringing me closer together to my two best friends. And I couldn't be more thankful for you coming into my life, meeting these new people and teaching me new things. I'm very thankful for you. So at number one, I want to find myself again, to discover myself again. I probably said this last year, but this year turned out to be a shit show. <laughs> so that went down the drain. So to find myself again is at the top of my list for my new year's resolution. Just because when I found Dom, I realized that I should be proud of who I am and not beat myself up because all those years of beating yourself up going through those traumas wh why should you carry it on why why just when you can stop and just think look this is me if you don't like it there's the door leave so to find and accept yourself in the words of RuPaul how are you can love someone else if you can't love yourself how are you can love someone else and that has stuck with me because because of Billy she's uh got me into um, RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> so thanks, Billy. But how are you gonna love someone else if you can't love yourself? And that's such a strong quote to go by. And it's a pretty damn heartfelt one. <laughs> so that was my New Year's resolutions for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year as well. So make sure you like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next year. <laughs> Bye.